there will be some uh, transitions that we will be uh, uh, undertaking and exploring in the year, two years ahead. Uh, one of them, importantly, um, is we are re-examining um, our vision, mission and value statement. And so during the course of this year, we will be initiating um, two important um, conversations, processes, transitions. One of them relates to a review and a refinement, uh, if you like, seven years later, of our mission, of our vision, and of our value statement. Uh, we believe that now that the dust has settled on the new institution's creation or nurturing, so to speak, that it is time for us to re-examine this. Uh, and so during the course of last year, we uh, began the work on this through focused uh, conversations and study groups led by Professor Van Amarva. Uh, and so we involved uh, leading academics in the institution as well as a number of colleagues on the professional and support services. So we had two focus groups, the purpose of which was to ask them to begin to explore um, a new vision, mission and value statement for the institution. And so we're deeply grateful because they did amazing work for us. We then uh, tested those ideas uh, with a broader executive leadership group of the university before we took it to council at the end of last year. Um, we have now again had an opportunity at our recent uh, uh, planning session, that is of the, uh, the broadened executive group of the institution, and we will now be presenting uh, that work to staff and to students of the university and hopefully in the next three to four months we hope to complete that process so that we can go back to council in June um, to seek final approval uh, of uh, those recommendations uh, and I would therefore strongly recommend that colleagues uh, find time um, to examine what we have. I do believe we have a much tighter set of ideas um, and perhaps I can share uh, some of these. Uh, now I haven't memorized it as yet because it's clearly work in progress and so the vision that we have for the moment is and I quote an international university of choice anchored in Africa dynamically shaping the future. So a much cleaner tighter one I'm not going to retake you through the, the old, or, not, or shall I say, the, the, the current operational vision statement, but this is clearly a much tighter uh, uh, one, and we do believe that it communicates the important messages. Then in respect of the vision, uh, again a very tight vision that, that's being put forward for discussion, and I quote, inspiring its community to transform and serve humanity through innovation and the collaborative pursuit of knowledge. So again, we think a, a helpful uh, bit of work that's been done, uh, and we hope that, that colleagues um, and, and students would find time to, to make their contributions. Um, value statements are always difficult, um, and so what we have concluded is it is more helpful to have a short list of values, and so four values have been selected uh, for, for debate. Uh, these are conversation, imagination, regeneration, and ethical foundation. And again, I would recommend that, that colleagues and, and students find time to examine what the elements of this notion of conversation, uh, of imagination and reflection and rethinking, and what regeneration uh, and an ethical foundation uh, would mean uh, and could mean uh, at the same time.